Well, guys, I don't know if it's ever going to get light enough to film. This is my Sunday morning out. This is my trailer, which is actually the water has. This is Sunday morning, October 13, 2013. It, Amazingly, my trailer made it. I have a trailer and it even has electricity. Unbelievable. Here is the view from my... Here is the view from Hambone's trailer door. Got some bad news for two uh, Jimmo's gas sucking trucks. They're gone. Two pickup trucks down the creek. You see a rototiller still sticking out amazingly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many fossil fuel things. My bicycle, I want you to know guys, has pulled through the flying colors. My gas sucking bicycle, it just got washed. So this is the view from uh, 12 feet from my front door. There you go. Oh yeah, it looks like the neighbor's garage. This building here, this white building, started its journey in 1998. When last time it did this, 1998. So 15 years ago, that white building went from next door. There we go, and there's there's Aaron taking a picture of Ham Moon, taking a picture of Aaron. There you go. The little doll has made it on top of the tree. She got pretty nervous. That's that little the little doll there. She's hanging on for dear life. Good God Almighty. So your trailers, your trailers taking it pretty bad. You got what? You're, it's totally flooded inside. I was floating. That's why I, I, it was already 10 inches deep by the time I woke up because my bed was floating and it was raining. And when so I hard. was calling your ass. Yeah, when you were calling. My and ass. you were still asleep. I don't know why I woke me up because it was raining so hard that the sound of water wasn't waking me up, and my bed was floating. I wasn't getting wet. I was dry. There you go. Well, your trailer looks worse than anyone else's. But you got everything out of it, right? Pretty much. I, I, th I think it's going down now for a Oh, minute. yeah. It's going, it's going down. Oh, it's dropped 15 inches. But it can go back up. I mean, yes, it can it, go back it, up. It's, it's supposed to just raise, like... It's supposed to rain for 12, 13 more hours. It could go a hell of a lot farther up. We are a long way from being out of the woods here in Austin, Texas. Oh, wow, man. There is no sign of those two pickup trucks anymore. What is that big white thing down there? Do we even know? I don't know. You know. Yeah. Oh, so the ref oh, that's the refrigerator because it the refrigerator took out the wall of the pavilion. Unbelievable that rototiller rode this thing out. There you go. Life in the end times. This is a hell of a Sunday morning to be a doomsday prophet. An environmental alarmist and the chronicler of the downfall of global industrial civilization. Oh, here's my deck. This is the deck from my trailer. I guess I'm going to put this camera up. I guess this deck made it through the gate. All right. There's this scene. Good Lord. There's our community kitchen. Son's refrigerator. And the refrigerator went 
knocked out the whole wall with it. Unbelievably, the roof is still standing. That, that community kitchen is gone. And here comes another line of thunderstorms. Smoke them if you got them, guys. You want to know what the... Uh, if you want to know what climate change looks like, you don't need to go to some typhoon in India today. You just need to come to South Austin, Texas. And look at Hamlin's trailer. Because this is the view from South Austin, Texas. And I'm going to put this camera up and grab my deck. Here's your old End Times Chronicler. I don't have to go far on this Sunday morning to chronicle the, the new normal. The new normal. This is one night's rain, guys. One night. Bye, guys.